great to be all fired up about things that we feel to be important, but it's also easy to fall into the trap of becoming an absolute fanatic. And that, I believe, is where the concept of devotion comes in. It implies something deeper, yet gentler, more spiritual, and a willingness to share the world with those around you while staying true to your beliefs. You know, I really think you're onto something there, Zaki. And it's also the theme of an intercultural fusion production attended by Mela's Devotee of Dance in Durban. Produced as an artistic collaboration between Durban's Playhouse Dance Residency and the Flatfoot Dance Company, Bhakti was created in 2010 by choreographer Leanne Lurtz. Recently, it returned to the stage in a whirl of energy. Bringing different worlds together can be catastrophic, but when it's done with passion, love, devotion and in a creative manner, the journey and the result can be both beautiful and enlightening. Bhakti is just that, a dance theatre work where Eastern mystical philosophy joins forces with African contemporary dance, music rhythms and spoken word. I'm about to meet the cast to find out more. Ms. Bukasini, Bhakti was created in 2010. Why did the Playhouse decide to revive it? We've been looking back uh, on uh, uh, who we are as South Africans and what a better way for the Playhouse company than to choose a piece such as Bhakti which has various forms of expressions uh, that emanate from a, people from different communities that make up Durban to celebrate 20 years of democracy. What do you hope the audiences leave here tonight with? Maybe that just helps us to eradicate little by little those prejudices we might have towards or against one another, those ideals we might want to, to you know, express in terms of collaborating with one another. So I hope there's a lot for everybody uh, to take away with them and hopefully we become a better uh, country for them. Manesh, you're a well-known exponent of Kathak in South Africa and you are known to be deeply committed to your art form. What made you decide to join the cast of Bhakti? Choreographer of Bhakti, Leanne Lutz and I have had the desire to work together for many years and when uh, Bhakti came along, I jumped at the opportunity to be able to take uh, my art of Kathak and expose it to a mainstream audience. How relevant do you feel a dance work like this is in South Africa? You know, I think it's very relevant because it's bringing the different cultures and cultural expressions of South Africa onto one stage. And I think celebrating 20 years of democracy through Bhakti is quite, an, uh, quite relevant in South Africa. As a creative being, what keeps you inspired? My guru always said that, you know, this lifetime is too short to master this art form. And that in itself is so inspirational. So we always, a dancer is always working at his art every day through his devoted practice, which we call Riyaz, you know. And uh, that keeps us going, I think, and we devote our entire lives to the art form. Kajal joined the company for a warm-up giving her a chance to discuss the production with the dancers. Being a Bharatanatyam dancer, I think it gives you good grounding to um, grasp other styles and techniques. There's a lot of our personal lives involved. Uh, Leanne selected texts that worked for us as individuals and so a lot of the choreography comes from us and it is very internal and personal. <laughs> After that inspiring warm-up, I'm all freshened up and ready for the theatre. It's time to take my seat. Bhakti is a Sanskrit word that carries the meaning devotion, evoking the spirituality of the work while also conveying a sense of inclusivity. It isn't intended to reference any single faith, but rather to be an act of devotion offered to a source of spiritual inspiration, be this a deity or the ancestors. For the choreographer, it's a work that combines her actual and spiritual journeys to the East and her love for Africa as her home. Leanne, where did Bhakti begin? I've always been fascinated by uh, dance styles that are not my own. 
and that idea of really trying to find a way to create some synergy with this incredible melting pot that we have in South Africa, the Eastern influence, the African traditional, plus the contemporary. So for me, it's almost like a, it's a work that's been in my heart and spirit a very long time. And then just kind of having the opportunity to kind of get the right dancers together to make the work and to fulfill that vision. I try to be quiet and repeat it. No strength but yours. No strength but yours. But I couldn't, I had to clap and sing, I had to clap and sing. This clear mold is fashion. You are combining completely different worlds. Was it a difficult task to bring them together? You know, it was strangely easy. There's an energy that goes through all dance styles. And although we might struggle to find each other's rhythms, I think dancers know what other dancers need. And I, I've been strangely kind of euphoric at how easy it's been, actually. Kattak Bharatnatyam, contemporary dance, musical rhythms, dervishes, live music and film. How did you manage to combine it all? I kind of like to think of the work as dance theatre because I think what you want to do is give the audience an experience. And for this work, I really wanted the audience to come into a sacred space and um, to feel like they are themselves are transformed, that they themselves are moved, that they themselves travel inward in a way. It just became part of creating almost like a spiritual dreamscape of allowing you to go in with the text, with the voice, with the body, with the sound, you know. It really is just beautiful. The energy on stage was absolutely pal uh, you know, palpable. You could feel it. It was exceptional. And of course, uh, Guruji Manish Bhai Maharaj, outstanding. A good mixture of uh, different cultures and uh, it was nice dance and fun for the family. She managed to create some sort of harmony in the movements and how it was so clearly showing how the dancers were caring for each other in the movement. It was very beautiful. It felt like I was in a trance and then watching these beautiful bodies making pictures, moving through space. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I was transfixed the entire way. This was just a fabulous mix of being respectful to both the cultures, both the Bharatanatyam and to Kaptak and to contemporary dance and Madala there with the performers and the poet, it was just fantastic. What a magnificent work of art. The words of Rumi, the Sufi dervishes, the perfect lines of the dancers and the sounds of Bakli will resonate in my heart for a long time to come.